Belize has been suffering losses in its rainforest, particularly along the southern border, as there have been numerous reports of incursions taking place that have resulted in Guatemalans stripping the environment of its natural resources. Those resources range from shattered leaves to gold and from rosewood trees to marine life. These are activities that have been reported time and time again and have seen outrage from the Belizean public as the perception is that our diplomats and government are allowing Guatemalans to do as they feel fit on our side of the border. In an interview with Ambassador Stuart Leslie from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, we queried about what is being done on the diplomatic front to taper the situation of the Guatemalan incursions. We have the establishment ready. There is no negotiation going on at this time. Negotiations ended at the signing of the special agreement. What we have is confidence building measures and we have set up what is called a joint commission. And that joint commission produced what we signed in December, those 13 agreements on confidence building measures. One of them, and the most important one, is the is one on the environment. That is one of the areas that you're most concerned about, encroachments into Belize. One of them is um, contact between our security forces to try and limit the amount of, uh, to try and ease the stress on the border. Right? The reason why we, I believe, and I'm sure that many of us believe, that the reason why the Guatemalans are coming across the border has absolutely nothing to do with a dispute. And it has to do with the economic advantages on this side of the border that they have a forest there that they can go in and they can cut illegally and they can find our biodiversity and so on. So they are looking to, they want to make life better. So there is a humanitarian aspect to it. We have to educate, we have to work with our counterparts in Guatemala and we do it through wonderful organizations like FCD, Friends for Conservation, who is, co who is, one of the, who is co managing with government the Chiquibul National Forest. And so we have to support FCD and you all support FCD when they had their Teleton. Thousands of Belizeans donated monies. And so one of the positive things that we FCD has been able, able to put more rangers in the park to manage the park. Whenever we find, whenever the, the BDF find Guatemalans illegally in the Chiquibul National Forest, we have a special protocol on how we deal with that problem and we take them back over on their side of the border after they've completed their legal processes here in Belize for illegal entry. Okay. So we have to continue to work and we, every time we find, we, we, we inform the, the OAS office, we inform the Guatemalans and we have a process that we've set out in how to deal with those illegal incursions. The environmental problem is a real issue. All Belizeans should be concerned about what is happening there. Um, I hope to share with you some satellite images of the amount of deforestation that has happened in, on, on the Guatemalan side of the border and how important it is for both sides to make sure that that doesn't happen on our side of the border. And so, yes, we continuously work closely with the Guatemalans to try and address the problems that are happening on the border. Things got volatile in early October last year when Belizean soldiers were confronted by an estimated 25 Guatemalans who subsequently threatened to burn down the outpost that was being constructed at the time at Camp Valentin. It reached a peak about a week before that confrontation when Special Constable Daniel Conarchy was shot and killed on September 25, 2014 by men believed to be Guatemalans who were trespassing in Belize.